just realized that the S came off on my wallet. That is so depressing. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia, also known as Nail Tech on a Budget. If you are new, welcome. Hit the subscribe button for Endless Cash Saving Fridays, as well as every other budgeting video. Today, we are stuffing a total of $322. Technically, it was supposed to be $322, but I did just put $20 into my gas before this video. So technically, we are stuffing a total of $302. Hope you guys enjoy my little setup. I don't have much to set up with, so I just have like a winter candy apple candle going as well as these cute little boxes don't know where we got these to be honest because we've had these for forever this one has like a little okay so it fell apart when I was in elementary school I made like a little snowman and my mom put this in here so that is what that is um here's the nails I don't know if you guys can really see them but it's just like a glitter and then like a glitter ombre with some red and candy canes but these are the nails at the moment i did have them in the last video for my november update if you haven't seen that go check it out i will link it in cards but i did not talk about these in my video so yeah here is the nails for the week so let's just get into the cash stuffing okay so we are starting with my bills in my daisy binder rent most of my bills are not gonna get stuffed at least my bigger bills are not gonna get stuffed because there is an extra thursday in december which i am so thankful for because my income was so low this week that i was not gonna be able to cover all of my bills as well as adding to my sinking fund so i'm very thankful that there's an extra thursday so rent is not getting stuffed booth rent is not getting stuffed and car insurance is not getting stuffed subscriptions is gonna get it's nine dollars and I did just have to pay Hulu and my storage for Apple and Apple Music, I think. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that is where my subscriptions went. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven into subscriptions. Phone bill is going to be getting twelve today. So I did my math wrong, we're gonna give it 12, but it does need um, 13. We give it a 10 and two ones. I'll fix that. I have a buffer, so I'm not really too worried about the $1. So it has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So technically my phone bill is usually like 49, 38 or something like that. So. I'm not gonna worry about like the 38 cents because I do have a buffer. Um, Bunny food is gonna get $10. She's gonna get a $10 bill. So we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. Into bunny food. Beauty is going to be getting $5 today. I did just get my wax done on Saturday. So that's where this money went. So we just have 20. I do have to get some more moisturizer for my face, so I'm probably gonna have to use that money towards that. Toiletries is not getting stuffed today. And taxes is gonna get a $5 bill. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 700, 750, 770, 780, 785, 790. So 790 into taxes. I'm gonna stop this at $800 just because I really don't think it's necessary to have like $1,000 into taxes. Unless I've had like a really bad year, I should say. Emergency is going to get $2. I did have interest put into my account for the end of the month. It only gave me like a dollar. So technically it's getting a dollar for my income and a dollar from interest. So now we have 1,100 to one, two, three, four. So we have $1,104. My goal for my emergency funds is about two or 3,000. I did comment on, I think it was either Bren's or Bessie's YouTube. And she was asking about how much you want to put into your emergency funds. And I commented two to 3,000. And then I thought about it. I was like, that's not very much if you really think about it. Cause one of my clients was telling me about how she literally just had to buy a brand new, I think it was a water heater or something like that. And it was $7,000. 
That is crazy to me. So I'm gonna keep my goal of two to 3,000 until I buy my own house. And then it's gonna be about six, 7,000 just in case. So gifts is not getting stuff today. Health is gonna get $2. So now health has 100, 200, 220, 240, 245, 246, 247, 248, 249, 250, 251. 251 into health. I'm glad I have this envelope because when I first made this, it was gonna go towards like my health insurance premiums once I turned 25, but I actually had to use this like a lot last month because of the fact my mom had COVID so I had to keep taking home tests which were like $25 a pop and I bought like three of them. So thankfully I have this envelope to lean on to get those tests. So go me. I was very smart to make this envelope. Business is gonna get $5 today. So we have five, six, seven, seven fifty, seven fifty five, seven fifty six into my business account. Clothing is not getting stuffed. Electronics is gonna get $2. I still have to get more printer ink, but I, I just wanna build this up so bad, but I really have to take it out of here because there's no other way that I'm gonna take printer ink out of any other thing besides spending, but I wanna use that on actual spending stuff. But I don't know, I just wanna build this up. 50, 70, 80, 85, 56, 87, 88, 89. So I have enough to get printer ink, but it's just like so expensive to get printer ink at this point. Room is not getting stuffed and dining out is gonna get 40 this week because I do have plans to go see some of my friends and we're gonna go out to dinner and go to one of those like escape rooms. So this is what this is gonna go towards. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 51. So we have 51 into dining out just in case. And let's go over to my purple binder. This binder is getting into really rough shape. Some of the diamonds fell off on the U, so I'm gonna start looking into new binders after Christmas. So just bear with me with how raggedy it's looking right now. 21st birthday is not getting stuffed and renter's insurance is gonna get $5 as usual. So now we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 in two renters. Pet care is gonna get 20 today. I wanna start bulking this up just because as Nova gets older, it's gonna be a lot more vet bills that I'm gonna have to pay for, so I wanna kinda of bulk this up. So 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290. Her, just getting her spayed when she was a baby was literally $600 and I never ever ever want to pay that much for a vet bill ever again so let's just hope that I never have to. Car maintenance is going to get $11. The $1 is from interest and the $10 is from my income. So now we have 1,000, 1, 2, 253, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 1335 in two cars. I have a pretty good down payment going on. I would love to have 2000, but let's see how far I go because my car just hit 175,000 miles on it and it's not in bad shape. It's just my belt makes a lot of noise. Like it's kind of like a screeching noise, but my dad's a mechanic. So he was like, oh, it's just your, it's just your belt. You'll be fine. He said you can replace it or whatever, but I still gotta do my snow tires. I might have to buy those. I'm not exactly sure yet, um, but we'll find out. Spending is going to be getting $40 this week because of the whole escape room that we're going to. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70. We're putting into spending. Nail supplies are gonna get its usual 40, which I am very excited for because of the fact that I have so much that I want to buy. The nail girl that we had join us is no longer with us, so I have a lot more space and a lot more leeway so I can buy more polishes and stuff like that. And I really, really wanted to, and I wanted to go over my budget for this, but I told myself that I needed to behave and I needed to actually stick to my budget. So now I have leeway to go get stuff. So we have 20, 40, one, two, three. We have 43. 
I have so many polishes that I need to buy. But I have, I have all my friends texting me like, what nail stuff do you need? Because I have no other Christmas ideas this year, so they're buying me nail stuff. Um, here is gonna get five dollars. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50, and two hair. I don't have an appointment with Elise until the middle of December, which is actually like two weeks away if you really think about it. Two or three weeks, because I think I see her the day before Christmas Eve. So I probably should bulk this up a little bit more, but we'll see. So retirement is going to get $2. So we have five, six, seven, seven fifty, seven seventy, seven eighty, one, two, three, four, five. So we have seven hundred and eighty-five into here. I do have to do a new tracker for this. Um, travel is going to get nothing today, and Christmas is going to get twenty dollars. If you guys watched my November update, you will. Oh my God! I can't with this box right now. You will notice that I did dent this envelope pretty, pretty good. So I'm just trying to add as much. And I did take out the 100 just because I don't think it's necessary. Because I've been doing a lot of online shopping. So I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to make change for a $100 bill. So I just put it... Oh my god. Count how many times that this just falls while I'm trying to talk. So I took the $100 out just to give it change just in case I needed to get change for buying it online. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. So we have 158 into Christmas. I'm not even close to done. I only have like four gifts that I got for my stepmom. I got my mom, I think two things. I got my dad three things. And I got my one best friend one thing, and then I still have to give my other best friend something. I have no ideas for anybody this year, so it's kind of hard. But I do have the money, I guess you can say. Just not for big gifts. Probably, like, stocking stuffers, basically. Security's not getting anything, and savings is going to get 16 15 is from my income, and $1 is from the interest. So now we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Look at that, 3,000, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. So we have $3,038 into our savings. I did put the one case slip in here finally, which is the whole point of the whole debt, or not debt update, a um, November update as well as a bill exchange. I said debt update because I'm still thinking about the crappy budgeters. I wish you guys could see how annoyed I am with this. But um, the Crafty Budgeter always does a debt update and I love watching those, but I still haven't yet. And it's been on my mind since she posted it, but I've been trying to get to everybody else's videos and I've been sucking at watching videos lately. So I have to catch up. That's what I'll do after this video, after I edit and everything, I'll watch you guys' videos today. But if you guys haven't checked out the Crafty Budgeter's um, YouTube channel, definitely check it out she is amazing I love her vibes because I'm not usually like a bubbly type of person but she makes she brings out the bubbliness when I watch the videos I'm gonna stop rambling but yeah go check out the crafty budgeter and let's go over to my wallet okay so the money in here is going towards my bills because I forgot to put it into the bank and then the two receipts I have to scan still I will put up my fetch rewards as well as in my description. So groceries and gas are obviously empty. Um, groceries is only gonna get 30 this week, so that's a 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29, 30. So there's that, and then gas, I was gonna give it 35, but I did use the 20, so we're gonna give it 15. Gas is actually starting to go down, to be honest. The one place that's by my house was like 355 for like a month and now it's like 353. And the place I got gas at today was 343, I think. So yeah, I'm actually kind of happy that gas is going down. So let's go over to my savings challenge. 
So we are on week 48, which is $6. So that is the remaining money that is sitting right in front of me. I can't wait to get rid of these paper envelopes. I'm gonna get a actual envelope once the year is over. Cause I'll do this challenge again next year, but I wanna do like a net, like a normal binder envelope instead of these paper ones because it's a pain in the butt. Let me tell you that. Okay, so for week 48, we stopped $6, which brings us to a total of $626. And we only have four more weeks until the end of this challenge. On January 1st, I will be opening my Etsy, which is going to include this setup, as well as three other savings challenge, I believe, as well as my budget breakdown that I haven't used in a while, just because of the fact that I don't have colored ink in my printer and it budget breakdown is colored so i just have been using like a spare sheet of paper on the side but everything will be on my etsy starting january 1st so if you guys would like one comment down below and i cannot wait to open the store all right guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it i just realized that the s came off on my wallet that is so depressing oh my god it's in my course I've had this wallet for a while though, so I can't complain. But I will see you guys in my next video, which will be on Friday, which is gonna be another cash stuffing as usual. And I hope you guys have a good week. Have a good week of December. We are manifesting money as usual, and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.